Hello everybody, welcome to the first ever video of building the Ultimate Matchbox car collection. My name is Tyrone, and these are the two that got me started about three years ago. A couple of uh, Pontiac Firebirds, pretty much mint condition, got them off eBay, cost about $65, and uh, well, that's where it all started. Haven't stopped since. But, uh, got about 3,500 in the collection now, and probably about another 10,000 to go. It's from the 1978 catalogue. I've managed to assemble the first page at least, albeit with some imperfections like the speedboat and the hovercraft have seen better days. But they're 42 years old, so not too bad. I'll get the perfect condition ones sooner or later. That's the inside cover page of the same catalogue. Wasn't exactly the ultimate goal to replicate each page of each of each catalogue, but uh, they accumulate quite quickly once you get going. I've, uh, brought out about 150 today to show you. So let's get started. These are the Holden Utes. Various motorbikes on the back, and uh, or various color motorbikes on the back. Then they went to the rough trek in the eighties, souped everything up, modernized it. Better wheels. None of these are from my original collection. I had to get rid of them when I was about 14 and it must have scarred me for life because now that I'm back into collecting, I just can't stop. These are a small percentage of the Corvettes I have. I have many, many Corvettes, especially the older ones. I'll find them sooner or later and bring them all out, put them on camera. The Pontiacs. T-tops. And some Bulgarian colours. Night Rider version. It's pretty cool. And the fifty seven Chevs. It's from the uh, Premier Collection, I believe. But, of course, that's the original from the 8081 catalogue, I think. A couple of American issue Panteras. Lincoln Continental and a couple of Model A Fords, three of them. And up to the helicopters. This one was modelled off the Apache, but I couldn't call it the Apache, so they just called it the Mission Helicopter. It's a some SWAT and 
and some of the newer stuff. Not too keen on those ones. And some really old ones. Few randoms down there. Audi Quattros. Some ATVs and all terrain vehicles. Trio of Daytonas with the dot dash wheels and the eight spoke. The thing. Couple of all-time favourite Porsche 911 turbos. Oh, I thought this would be nice for the collection, and then I realised there are 54 variants. So I don't feel particularly committed to get all 54, but they'll probably appear sooner or later in the mailbox. Uh, some Australian-centric cars. Well, obviously the Chevy van, but it's got a kangaroo on it, so. Sydney Olympics 2000 edition, Holden Commodore. Roll on the way on us. And it's little buddy, the Ford Falcon. It's an old favourite, Villager. It's a pretty good nick, but uh, there's a few scratches on it. Always in search of the perfect article. And some very new ones, the Honda Civic. In the Volvo. Not quite sure if they're trying to make a police car or a pace car or who knows what. But sort of halfway in between a few things. But it's alright. And nobody really knew what they were doing there. Anyway. A few military vehicles. The Hummer. The Abrams, the Stoat, the Weasel, these are a Rollomatic from the mid 70s, the original Jeep, and then they actually did a better job on the new one. Field gun, personnel carrier. Carmichael's seen better days, but it's the only one I have, so that'll do until I get the perfect one. And a couple of swamp rats. And into the new stuff now, the opening parts from Superfast, Ford Sedan, the Tesla. And I've got a black one of these coming today. The missus texted me with a photo of it from the city and uh, she says, how many do you want? I said, just one. But uh, when I first started collecting again, the, the theory was, well, if you see them, buy them. And I wound up with about 15 or so of the Buick. But, uh, these days I don't really think it's necessary to buy everything, just one or two of each. Lovely Pontiac. V dubs. Some fair ladies or Zeds. Interesting to see uh, what the third colour of this is. It's always the way. The first one, we think, yeah, that's nice. And then second one, so, oh, wonder what the third and the fourth and the fifth one's going to look like. See what they do with the colour range. More opening parts. Some Camaros. A 
collection's a little bit chaotic at the moment. I'm uh, sorting out the, the study wardrobe for more storage because I've got about three, three and a half thousand models and uh, they were just piling up everywhere. I'll show you how they were being stored. Just in this chaos here, in bubble wrap. So then I started building the trays and they were building up and building up. And so I decided to start in on some cabinetry for them. So this system will eventually hold about 5,000 trays and 5,000 cars. These smaller ones fit 22 each. These ones 40, 45, and the bigger ones fit about 50 ish. Stack them all the way up to there. You get our 5,000. Plenty of room to grow. That's about it for the first video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit subscribe if you want to see the next one. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.